you guys and so the more chance you give that person is the more chance you are letting them breaking down your confidence and breaking down your self-esteem so the more chance you get a narcissistic person or a toxic person is the more chance you're giving them to break down your self-esteem and break down your consciousness and so I knew that my ex-partner narcissistic partner was wrong for me but guess what sometimes you fall in love with the idea of a person being who you want them to be and not the reality of who they really are until you come to the realization for yourself and saying I have the reality of the reality idea of who I want this person to be but in now living now reality is this person who is not who, who I want them to be in my head this person is a total different person this person is just toxic and is no good for me until you have come to the realization that the person is who they are now and not the idea that you have in your head of who you want them to be or who they portray to be that going to keep you as stuck being in a toxic situation forever and so sometimes we as female um, find ourselves in wanting to this person to be who they portray or paint themselves to be when in the reality now being with, with them they are not and so it keep us stuck being and continually accepting and receiving toxicity and so sometimes we as a broken person I'm going to the relationship probably trying to find or trying to feel that emptiness as a woman trying to believe in that when we have our receiver the partner it going to take away that brokenness or emptiness no you have to be full feel or be own enough by yourself by loving yourself and by choosing yourself and by knowing what you add to the table and by knowing what to accept and what not to accept as i say we attract who we are so guys i was a perfect i was once a broken conscious person but because being in an abusive relationship back then with my abusive narcissist he had broken down my self-esteem my self-value and my self-worth because there is no way you're going to continue staying with in something where somebody continually putting their hands on you can somebody continually talking down on you in front of their kids their family members and friends there is no way you're going to stay in something where uh, your, your, your partner have, have multiple supplier partners there is no way you're going to stay in something where your, your ex abuser continually sitting down with it at his other supply discussing him there is no way you're going to sit down with somebody who would constantly belittling you and bringing you down you must be of a broken and conscious person to be doing that and so that was who I am I was fully conscious and aware as the person I used so I, I, I am now but because it has taken me to love myself to value myself to know what I am about to know what I add to the table by being a loving caring respectable partner I know exactly what I add to the table and what I am about and so that when you fully become aware of yourself and you know what you add to the table this is the time you begin to be a conscious person knowing what to accept and what not to knowing who to entertain and who not to knowing what you add to the table and knowing your self value your worth your sanity sanity and your dignity and pride this is how a conscious person operate in her conscious being and her conscious body and so more time it's not our job to pursue or try to win a man that is a man a male job it's not our job as a female and so most time we are the ones who are putting up with foolish we see the red flags but we fall in love with the idea I'm closing conclusion of this vlog we fall in love with the idea of and not the reality of who the person really are and so we need that is why we need to practice self-love and not fall in the idea of who the person is but the reality the harsh reality of who the person 
really, really is. And we need to love ourselves and value ourselves because at the end of the day, self-love is the best love of all and self-love give you what you deserving and not what you 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 will get not anything self-love eliminate of getting things that is not good for you and giving you things that you deserve and that is right for you guys i'm just the messenger and females and males there are a partner out there who really will genuinely love and accept you i'm talking from experience and we attract who we are if you are of brokenness and toxicity that is what you're going to attract to yourself if you're a conscious person and a woman of dignity self-pride and i value that is what you will attract if you are broken and looking for a person who is of high profile with bad character bad principle and have nothing to offer more than toxicity and brokenness that is what you will attract to yourself so the best love of all is self-love practice this make this be, become an everyday part of your life and you will see instant changes and different results you cannot be doing the same thing and living in the same cycle and expecting a change or a different cycle if you do the same thing over and over again you're going to get the same outcome and it's the same the same thing so it's all up to you and I always say to my chosen ones and people the power is within us and not the narcissist love you guys peace peace out